Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is March 11th, 2023, and this is episode 569. Today we're looking at Purgatory Must Die. This is issue number one, the start of a new arc for Purgatory. It comes out from Dynamite, and it comes in a whopping $3.99. Now this is not the A cover. The A cover was absolutely awesome, but it was sold out. So I just want to check it out because I did like um, the last arc quite a bit uh, with Purgatory being taken on by a coven of witches trying to steal her powers. Now, when she, I guess she's kind of like a vampire demon type thing. Um, when she kills somebody, she absorbs their memories, thoughts, and skills and whatnot. But she's gotten more uh, discernible, I don't know what you'd say, like, she's more discretionary these days. Uh, she used to kill everybody. She's killed over, I think, like 300,000 people or some crazy number. But now she is just picking on the ones that are bad. And there's enough baddies in the world for her to pick from. So, uh, at the end of last arc, she mentioned that, that uh, everybody's kind of out to get her. So she is going to go to the source, the source being the gods, and take on the gods herself and kill them all. So that's the whole storyline for this arc. And um, it is a recommend. I think it's pretty enjoyable. I'm not going to stick with it, however, but um, I'll, let's talk about it. <laughs> all right, let's get it. First of all, um, here's kind of a black-white negative of the a cover. Unfortunately, I could not get it, um, but it looks really nice. And we'll take a look real close on who worked on this. It's Ray, folks. This is the writer. I think he did the last arc as well. It was pretty good. Um, Alvaro Sarasaka is the artist. I'm, I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Salvatore Ayala is the colors. And Tom Napolitano is the letterer. My, Matt Idelson is the editor on this. So there you go. That's the crew on this. And I believe that was the same crew on the last arc. Very enjoyable book. So we get this messenger, messenger going to, to let the gods know, all the different gods, all the different cultures and whatnot, that Purgatory is out to get them. And so they're going to put an army together of themselves. And as we see, Purgatory is just kind of taking it easy for now. And she has her pal with her. I think his name is Alatar or something like that. He's kind of a Norse um, warrior, but he's also a demon hunter. But somehow he's teamed up with uh, Purgatory from the last issue because they had a common cause and they have still together. Get a little bit of glare here. Now, what I like is the art in this is when Purgatory is drawn, she's drawn really nicely throughout. Some of the other characters, not as well, a little more stiff. But they've really gone out of their way to give Purgatory a real nice look. Now, what we find out through here... Okay, here's an ad for Draculina. Let's take a look at these covers. Let's soak them all in. These are the variant covers and the A cover as well. And this is being written by Christopher Priest. It's probably going to be pretty good. I did a review on the last arc, and it was a good story. This one's going to be called Blood Simple Draculina. Or Draculina. Christopher Priest. So the gimmick for this one is they're going to bring in all of Dynamite's roster. Sorry about that motorcycle. <laughs> Go by. The roster of the gang to join the gods to fight Purgatory because they believe she's the most powerful. So that means you're going to see Vampirella, um, Pantha, um, I'm trying to think of who else, Draculina, of course, and some other, uh, Evil Ernie is another one. So the action, this is a little strange at the beginning um, as it, uh, some henchmen try to take her down. And they are very unsuccessful. There's a lot of humor in here as well, which is nice. Actually, um, Purgatory gets her head kind of blasted off, but she's able to regenerate on her own. And there's a little some jokes about that as well. So it's just kind of a 
it's kind of an amusing, lighthearted, but it can be grotesque at times, um, comic. But good story, I think. It's going to be pretty good. There's your evil Ernie coming into the picture as he's been given a gold coin by this uh, Hermes, the Mercury, also known as Mercury, one of the gods, the messenger of the gods. And he's going to go all over the world and give find all the different uh, people from the Dynamite cast to join in against purgatory so here we have a barbarella ad and uh there you go that looks pretty good there's the, some of the other covers we'll go through that real slow please feel free to pause at any time if you wish to look at something longer okay we got through that that's gonna be written by sarah hunt i have not been following barbarella so i can't tell you what that's about other than she's a space a lady out in space. Okay, so here we go. We're coming in on some of the other characters that Hermes has asked to join them, join in. Maybe there's Vampirella. He's signing her up as well. And then some other characters here, including Pantha. I don't know this one is with the, uh, kind of looks like Power Girl. And of course there seems to be no, no um, end to the number of people they're going to bring in on here to fight Purgatory. And her friend is telling her that things are going to be getting tougher and tougher. She's always kind of blowing him off when he comes up with these things. Uh, much to her disadvantage, as you can see, there's a big uh, <laughs> lightning bolt behind her, and she finds out, well, things are going to get a little much hairy from here on out, and she says, bring it on. So that's how the first issue ends. Um, it is a recommend, just because I do like the Purgatory um, comic, the storyline. I don't like the way they kind of did this one, where they get, kind of give you the fight. The fight card up front so you know what's going to happen it would have been more of a surprise to unreal unreal these out as the series unfolded but i still think it's a decent enough story i don't think i'm going to follow this because i'm trying to follow some other ones at the meantime so next purgatory dies a lot pergy dies a lot i should say so that's the next one so apparently she's going to die and come back um and here's a cover for the next issue let's get in tight so a pretty nice looking cover. Now we're going to go over to the cover gallery, I believe, once we, uh, there's, an, or there's a bigger shot for the next issue. Plus Mad Balls versus Garbage, Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, I think that's a trade paperback. Oh, issue number one. It's a new arc on that one. So this doesn't look quite as nice, I don't think, as the, uh, the other one. Then I got an ad, ad for Red Sonia. Hell Sonia. Written by Jordan Clark. I believe this might be a no number two. Coming out in January. This is actually an older issue, obviously. Cherish. We did review this number one issue. Um, it was a not recommend, unfortunately. Now it's all the way up to number four. And Sweetie Candy Vigilante. That's number four for that coming out. Let's take a look at the cover gallery for this issue, though. And you can see there is uh, issue A. Cover A looks really nice. Fortunately, it was sold out. Um, I kind of been not real uh, what was consistent about making my way to the comic book store, so I'm missing out on a lot of things that come right out. And unfortunately, but that's kind of the way it is right now for me. And some more. Since this is a number one issue, a new arc, they kind of really loaded it up. Some. Uh, Exclusive variants as well in here. I could have drawn that one. Okay, and finally, the last of them. Then we get an ad for Dynamite. And for their app. And we are out. So, Purgatory Must Die, the new arc is a recommend. Um, like I said, I will not be... Oh, the guy said Altari, but his name is actually Asim Garwish. I will not be um, 
staying on this one. Thank you for stopping by and watching this review of Purgatory Must Die, issue number one. As always, please like, please subscribe if you haven't, please leave comments, and we'll see you next time. There's much more to come on the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.